finally, we are at it again. Because guess what? It's right by Playtime. <laughs> Let's go. Fried eggs on toast by Kim J. That looks like a flying disc. <laughs> Lovely how you created Pangea in egg form. Tip. Make it more fun by placing some dinosaur bites and lobbing a large meatball at it to recreate the extinction event. <laughs> and my please stupid. <laughs> Dried out paper plate with a touch of mustard? Doesn't get much better than this, Kim. <laughs> Why well, do like a paper plate though? <laughs> Fold that egg in half and it will make a great face mask. <laughs> You'd be able to go in any establishment with that. <laughs> Looks like the surface of the moon. It probably tastes the same. Well done! <laughs> Rather than crack the eggs, you decided to launch them from a distance to see what happens. <laughs> oh! It's so cute when toddlers try to cook. <laughs> Dominique! <laughs> I can work with this. Dish the bread, use the failed egg as a tortilla wrap, Fold it around a cremated sausage or two, and it's a tasty treat. <laughs> Bethany, you childish. <laughs> Actual pick of the only utensils Kim has in her kitchen. <laughs> That's how she flattened her egg like that. <laughs> oh, Matthew. <laughs> Cheese on toast for breakfast by Luke V. I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> Getting your foot in the door with cooking? <laughs> you eating that off the bonnet of your car? <laughs> and I'm assuming bonnet means like the hood of your car, because that plate definitely looks like the hood of somebody's car. <laughs> I wonder who had to foot the bill for this one. <laughs> Another play on words. You must drive with your left foot out the car window. <laughs> Just backwards, just like this plate of food. <laughs> Head, shoulders, cheese on toes, cheese on toes. <laughs> Looks decent till you found out it's trace. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody tracing their foot on top of some bread? <laughs> My foot fetish tingle is going haywire at the moment. <laughs> Mike, you nasty. <laughs> I couldn't eat this. I lack toes intolerance. <laughs> hey, now that's a funny spelling error. <laughs> Just need some sweet corns on the other side. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. <laughs> Somebody wasn't hugged enough as a child. Quick, give me 10 milliliters of attention. Stop. He was going to die. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Homemade smiley faces by Lord S. Those look depressing. <laughs> Lauren, you have truly captured a sincere depth of emotion in these human faces. The raw, uninhibited looks on these humans would have made Michelangelo blush. From joyful above, to lustful on the left, to worrisome on the right. The center face knows what is in store for them. A life of misery and despair followed by love and acceptance of the unknown and chaotic world. With lost friends and unfulfilled dreams. All you see now in the central face is ourselves. Wondering when it will end and where exactly this journey called life will take us. Optimism with skepticism. Thank you for this piece of culinary art. It is not every day that we experience a lifetime of emotion without crumbling into oblivion. See, that's it! <laughs> off the chain, but it's the 3 out of 10 that killed me. <laughs> Did you fry them in smack? <laughs> I'm assuming smack is some form of illegal substance. <laughs> Thanks, Lord. This used to be my phobia. Your smiley face is now taking over. <laughs> oh, Gary, you clownish, bro. <laughs>
If 2020 was a homemade smiley face. <laughs> okay, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Have they all had strokes or been on the long session? <laughs> like, you did a great job at making them look awful. <laughs> I've often wondered what happened to Wilson from the Tom Hanks film Castaway. Hey, <laughs> that top one doodle like Wilson. Wilson! <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Homemade cinema style nachos by Olivia R. That's just sad. <laughs> oh, Olivia, what cinema serves this? I need to know so that I never, ever go there. Ever, never. I strongly advise you to never go there again, too. Or tips cooking. Please, Olivia, never ever again. <laughs> oh, Sam, he had to come out of that heart. <laughs> a film to honor this plate would be a disaster movie. Plastic cheese, behave. <laughs> go have a word with yourself, please. <laughs> Some effort gone into this. Plastic cheese flavor slices thrown on using toes instead of hands? Nuked in a microwave for two minutes? Finished with secondhand sauce? What? <laughs> no, Peter, just not. <laughs> but low key, that's an accurate description, though. <laughs> Glad to see some people's cooking skills have improved during lockdown. <laughs> I know you like it. <laughs> Loneliness on a plate with a side order of despair. <laughs> hey, Phil, you know she's single, bruh. <laughs> Olivia R's local cinema. <laughs> oh, that place looks run down. <laughs> it cannot be functional. <laughs> when you spent your universal credit on cocaine and you have to improvise. Corey, cheers. <laughs> Hang in there, Olivia. Hope things get better. <laughs> you gotta be going through rough times to have that as a plate of food. <laughs> Good deals at the cinema, though. You can add a small Pepsi for just $31.99. <laughs> hey, that's no exaggeration. <laughs> that's why you gotta sneak your own food in. <laughs> You're single, aren't you? And have several cats. <laughs> Sabrina, cheers. <laughs> Perfect snack for watching the movie Room. <laughs> Just sitting there staring at the wall. <laughs> Don't forget a bag of sweets to go with them. Yeah, look at that. They do not have skills like it. What is that? <laughs> There once was a woman named Olivia. She made nachos for a homemade cinema. Her boyfriend got bored, pulled on his cord, and now the cheese smells like something from a <laughs> First off, that's disgusting. Secondly, we established that Olivia is single. <laughs> I would find a different movie theater if I was you. <laughs> so simple and to the point. <laughs> Oh, good one, Nancy. <laughs> Tinned macaroni and cheese on toast by Matthew S. <laughs> Dessert, I take it? <laughs> Childish, but look, you gotta be a kid to make some concoction like this. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Apologies up front, but it looks like you have attempted to make a food sculpture of a used sanitary <laughs> Now that is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese is my favorite food ever, but the tin kind tastes like synthetic cat puke. Sorry. <laughs> what is synthetic cat puke? <laughs> some reason I can imagine what that tastes like and it's... <laughs> nasty. <laughs> yeah, I would have slipped my wrist and bled over it too if that was my supper. <laughs> That nastiness. <laughs> Looks like a pavement outside a pub on a Saturday night. <laughs> That's very accurate. <laughs> Did you pull your bird's tap off of the sock on top? <laughs> no, what are we lying? We're just lying. <laughs> oh, Martin. <laughs> How did you cut the bread? Put it in between your
between your legs and think dirty thoughts. <laughs> yeah, because it is absolutely not toast. Like, <laughs> it's raw bread. <laughs> it looks like you just popped an abscess. <laughs> Yo, this one nasty, man. <laughs> Did you just breathe on the bread to melt the butter? <laughs> With his hot breath. <laughs> Looks like a yeast infection mixed with a period on some warm bread. <laughs> These descriptions are getting worse. Mmm. <laughs> Tapeworms and bile with a delicate follow through sauce. My all time face. <laughs> what is follow through sauce? Sun-dried toast with macaroni and a severed artery. <laughs> and that, my friend, is why you're single. <laughs> I love the single jokes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Classic banana and pineapple pizza by Martin B. Now that's just disrespectful. <laughs> and we'll discuss the pizza in a moment. I want to know the story behind your choice of carpet. <laughs> Martin, please treat yourself to a new carpet and move out of your nans. As for the pizza, I have no words. Looks like you're using your stomach as a table as well. I go to bed and start again tomorrow. <laughs> Stephanie, chill. <laughs> Just ripping in the shreds. <laughs> Not sure what's worse, Martin. The pizza or the floor? It's like the worst nan carpet with some weird COVID food ration dinner. I'm sorry it came to this. There are food banks you can trust. Or if this is your thing, well done on returning this page to glory. But what is wrong with you? <laughs> Sir, go have a word with yourself, please. <laughs> if you died in your living room with this shirt on, you'd become an unsolved mystery as the cops would never find your body. <laughs> that shirt is ugly. <laughs> I take a COVID-19 sneeze to the face long before I get within six feet of this sickness. Just when I thought 2020 couldn't get any worse, you go and do something like this. For shame! <laughs> Tyler! <laughs> Yo, I love y'all's insults, man. <laughs> Classic! It's a monstrosity. The ground in Italy is rumbling from millions of Italians rolling in their graves. <laughs> There once was a lad named Martin, whose diet should have been starting. He had some margarita, but put fruit on a pizza, and that's when he started uncontrollably farting. <laughs> hey, I love the riddles. I love the rhymes. <laughs> Only thing classic here is the fucking carpet. <laughs> yeah, who says the F word like that? This is the worst thing that's happened in 2020. <laughs> Out of all the things. <laughs> Just when we thought it could get any worse. <laughs> Here go Martin. <laughs> Pasta with garlic sauce, cheese triangles, and orange pieces by Brenda H. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a no for me. I mean, you have things like a Florida salad with mandarins and etc. And some savory and sweet fruit combos do work, but this is just wrong on all levels. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Brenda, what are you doing? <laughs> People will say this is disgusting, but then happily eat pineapple on pizza. Both horrible. Yes! <laughs> just like old buddy from the previous plate. Like, come on. <laughs> pineapple on pizza is disgusting. <laughs> You pregnant? This just isn't normal at all. <laughs> She's having those cravings. <laughs> I always wondered what serial killers ate for dinner. <laughs> that would be their exact dish. <laughs> Brenda Love. Adding a few oranges won't make a suitable food for your diet. Next time, just the oranges. <laughs> hey, that's solid advice. <laughs> Find me some real Italian food. Come on. Hey, Tom, I know you're lying, bro. Am I missing something? At what point did you think the orange was a good thing to add? Try banana next time. Whoa. 
Okay, Wendy, you had me at first until you went there with it. No. <laughs> Banana neither. No. <laughs> Orange, you glad you didn't have to eat this? It's not very appealing. It looks like someone is taking the piss. <laughs> oh, Helen, I love to play on words. <laughs> you need to stand in the corner and thrash yourself with a thin stick. <laughs> Nicola, come on. Oh, that's aggressive. <laughs> you just giving everyone here PTSD. Whenever I see orange pieces, I'm going to remember this disgraceful attempt. This is so wrong, there's no way to redeem yourself. No religion can save you now. <laughs> there's no helping her. <laughs> Brenda is clearly adhering to lockdown rules and only visiting the supermarket when she absolutely needs to. Brenda, it's that time, honey. You need to leave the house and do a shop. <laughs> hey, we can't fall, Brenda, now. <laughs> a storage solution for this dish?